According to ICE data from June of 2023, Arizona ranks among the top five states with the largest number of people in the immigrant detention system admitted per day. That number is roughly 1,600. Detainees are frequently separated from their families, denied basic rights such as access to legal counsel, medical care, and are often subject to abuse from the guards or other detainees. Every authorized ICE facility has passed inspections since 2012, even those where multiple people had died due to medical neglect. A 2015 study revealed that only one out of 100 facilities was given a deficient rating on an annual inspection after 2009. This comes after Congress had passed an appropriations law stating that federal governments must discontinue contracts with immigration detention facilities that fail two consecutive inspections. Of those held in detention, nearly 90% are kept in private, for-profit institutions, which, due to successful lobbying of the government in the 1980s by these institutions, stand to gain from the prolonged imprisonments of black, brown, and indigenous immigrants. The GEO Group and Corrections Corporations of America, now known as Core Civic, grossed $551 million and $552 million, respectively, from contracts with ICE alone in the fiscal year of 2021.